long life to you, friend, and welcome to more AP Games, more Merc Turk Thurn here in Path Pathfinder. And, uh, well, guys, it's a little bit of a rough start to the video. I decided to take a rest, and lo and behold, we get attacked by troll hounds, which I. Okay, let's. Troll hound ability. Magical beast, 30 hit points, 3 regen. Remove. Oh, so they're actually troll dogs. Okay. All right, so we have to kill them the same way that we would kill a troll. Despicable. Problem is we didn't heal all the way because of because we're just resting in in an area. Advance. All right, good hit. Kundao. I need you to move away, man. I aim true. I grant you death. Okay. Jubilos, we've got our potions back. So let's try and use a potion on these guys. Good. One troll howled down. Dog. Engage the second one. Amiri. I'm going to have you charge in. Okay, it's not dead even though it has... No, it is dead. Alright. Merc, I don't have confidence in your hit points right now. So let's just use crossbow. Do some good damage. Okay. Your life is low. Good. Jathal, I need you to acid splash. First one. Put the acid on it so that I can die. Cannot hide from me. Good. Nowhere to run. Good, 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 good. A fine use of my talents. Okay, Trollhound is down. But I need acid on it in order to what kill it. A waste. There we go. Grotus awaits All right. us. Skin and collect the troll hounds. That's interesting. Um, the undead is such a frivolous term. Hmm. I prefer That's immortal, I eternal, Patience. everlasting. Go ahead and just use our charges. Get us basically to full health. Request. Um, let's do a major heal on herself. Okay. Uh, we don't need to heal. We're okay without it. All right. Onwards. So now that we've taken care of that, we can finally get up into this hill area and check out what's going on. Over here. Uh, real quick. Yep. Now, yeah. the beginning of the hunt. Bandits. I aim true. I got you dead. All right, let's put the dog on the hunter here. Good. And Merc. Charge in with the big miss. Jathal can't charge. So let's go for the acid splash on the transmuter. Big miss again. I need some sort of offensive spell on Harem. Become as dust. Because he's really just pretty useless if he's not in in melee. Okay, we got somebody on the transmuter. Alright, we've been slowed. Ow! Merc! Come on, man, dodge! Cannot hide from me. Nowhere to run. Alright, Akundayo is like quickly becoming the MVP of the team. Run them through! Let's hear you cry. Unworthy. Big miss. Repent. Big miss. Bring it. Good hit. Alright. Ha! Primitives. There it is. Okay. I aim true. Alright, Akundayo. A miss every now and again is okay. It's understandable. Alright, that slow spell is definitely. Devastating. Die. 
wretched things. There we go. Your life ebbs low. Tear them apart! That's the damage we're looking for. All right. Will they ever learn? Nothing. Yeah. Merc is taking a lot of hits, man. I grant your death. Out of my way. Despicable. All right. There we go. Chocolate. Let's take the get down here. Cloak of resistance plus one. Let's plug that onto somebody who needs a cloak. Kundayo could use it. Okay, what is Okay, so that's an improved. Yeah. Alright, Kundayo, get you a cloak. Very good. Okay, quick save. We are all slowed for how long? All right, just a little bit longer. I lead, you follow. All right. We've got Alec here, Calvert, and Edgar. Okay, I can smell the gold I can. What gold would that be? You catch the word barons and treasure. Gold nothing here, my lord. Uh, well, Edgar, just too bold. Alex's gonna marry Martha, you see. They're gonna carve their names in this trunk. It's gonna carve a picture. <laughs> Alright. Um, you're not in trouble, just tell me everything. We're searching for gold here, my lord. A traveling bard spent the night in our village, told his tale of big fights, barbarians, chieftains who led hordes here long ago. Uh, at the end, he said he knew where the barbarian's chieftain's burial. Baird promised he could show us. We paid him two gold. He wanted three, but we could only gather two anyways. All right. The bard was too generous. If it was just me, I'd have thrown them in the debt pen. i managed the last ten gold. All right. Um, as you recall, there were barbarian tribes that rode across these lands long ago. Um, all the cairns are far to the east or northwest. All right. Detect magic. All right. Doesn't exclude the possibility the treasure's there. Simply might be hidden too deep, or perhaps the treasure isn't magical in nature. All right. Let's go for... Lawful good. Um, okay, fine. We'll help you dig up the treasure. All right. Can't believe we're wasting precious time. Actually, I know of a place where a fountain of ale flows freely from the stone. I can show you for a modest fee. Paid in advance, of course. All right. Two hours later. Ancient tree finally yields. Oak Creek's indignant. Raining roots dangle in the air. There's nothing in the tree but several worms and a mole den. We paid too little and held our grudge. And he held a grudge. Don't be greedy. All right. We get on our knees before him. Empty our pockets of needy. He'll forgive us and tell us where the treasure is. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. All right, well, we got some experience out of it, I guess. Let's uh, God. let's keep using this wand to heal Merc, because apparently he is. All right, that's probably enough for now. I won't be halted. Give it a quick save again. Strike Troll hounds fighting ferocious wolves. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kind of line up right here. So we're just gonna hang back, plink away at them a little bit, while they focus on the troll hounds. Cannot hide from me. Nowhere to run. 
A fine use of my talents. Okay, Harem will strut up boldly. Okay, Jethal. Big miss. All right, Amiri, now we can go in. All right, big miss. Another big miss. Merc. Move on in. Let's hear you cry. Take a shot. Move this way. Okay. I aim true. I got you dead. Okay. A clever ploy. Nice, Jubal lost. Nice hit. All right. If we can, we're gonna try and retain my um, my acid. What you call it? Acid potions. Okay. So he's got acid on him now. They go down. Nope. Ooh, disease. Big miss by Merc. Not surprised. Cannot hide from me. Nice hit, Nikundeo. Primitives. Alright. What a waste. Here I'm getting in the action. Become oh my. Dust. Actually getting the actually getting a hit. Advance. Good. Alright, let's skin and collect them all. That's a good victory right there. All right, so we'll check out this way. What's that? Two hundred and ten bucks in that gold stick. Let's check down here real quick. Okay, we got a troll over here. All right, let's engage it. Gaining the advantage is always Depends smart. You cannot stand against me. Nowhere to run. I aim true. All right, so we got some troll hounds here. Let's hold off just for now. Will they ever learn? Big miss. More troll hounds. Okay, a little acid on him. Out of my way. Okay, we're hanging back. We'll plink at him. A little bit of tanking. I grant you death. Dang man. Kunde is vicious. Good. A fine use of my talents. Alright, Jethal, your main job here is to help with poison. Acid on these guys. Run them through! Merc. Okay. Good. Hear him. Good. Your life ebbs low. <laughs> Cannot hide from me. Nice. Dog. Move in. Big hit on the troll. Okay, Jubilost. Throw the acid here. That'll kill both of them. Good stuff. Skin, collect them all. We do it my way. Nice, easy fight. You see that? Child's play. All right, good stuff. Got some shrooms over here. Just do. 
The traitor god Tarik priests used to hide set hiding places like in statues like that. Alright. Dormant's god is a stern look, almost accusatory when combined with the surrounding devastation. Examine the statue. Build perception. Alright. Statue may be hiding something of value. After several hours of searching, you discover a hidden paddle and panel with a niche above it. Jagged grooves adorned with arcane symbols. Alright. Try to put a cog in. Cog won't rotate. Try to open the panel. Try to, time to leave. Okay. Well, let's take this box over here. Alright. Let's take all this. What happens if I go back? No. Nope. Okay. So we did get a note. What does that note say? Alright. Uh, words written by feeble hand. Every morning I wake up as a 20-year-old boy. It's the best morning of my life. Today's the first day, time I take post at the sh Shield Road. Um, there's no Shield Road anymore. It's been this way for more years than I can count. I must be older now than the decrepit Goggin when he died and left me alone. Unforgiving. The Holy Statue of Torg is the only thing time dares not touch. Do you remember it's my duty to guard something hidden inside the statue, but I don't remember what I'm guarding. The key I wear hanging around my neck. The Langabuck's golden cog is as heavy as an anvil. Where's the ward Waradash white cog? I don't remember. I happened to Skeggy's red cog and keep and when it's keeper. Goggin died. Alright, so there's a red cog that we need to get as well. I think we've got both the other two. Uh, every morning I go around the neighborhood looking for people. I haven't seen any for years, neither traitors nor bandits. Sometimes my mind tricks me, and I recall speaking to a hunter or a scout just yesterday. Memory is too vague to be real. Um, I've been hoping to see when the dwarves return and restore the road. Uh, alright. Someone managed to return these parts and manages to read this. Remember our names? This tower is built by the dwarves of the War Waradash, Skegia, and Langabuck clans in 4 4241. It was abandoned in 4499. We, the last shields, were left behind to keep our eternal watch for the glory of Torag and the dwarven people. Our names were Gargan, Skegia, and Wark Langabuck. It was our free choice. And we have no regrets. Remember us. Interesting. I will protect. All right. Another symbol. More s some giant Nothing spiders. Won't help you. All right, giant spiders. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Kundayo, let's. Uh... This guy goes first. Nowhere to run. So let's go after him. I aim true. Good. Okay. Let's have you back up. Dog. Engage a spider that's already engaging you. Harem. Step up to tank. Very good. Alright. Jubilos. Who's next? A clever ploy. Alright. Unworthy. Bring it. Big miss by Amiri. This spider is trying to go for wolf, probably. All right, Merc. Let's hear you cry. Nope, nothing. All right, we're gonna work our way from left to right. You dead? Cannot hide from me. Unless, of course, you're engaged in melee. But as a general rule, we're going to work left to right. Wretched thing. Good. Ow. Tear them apart! Good, Amiri. Alright, now they're going after Merc. So let's get an extra attack. Out of my way. Nice crit hit. That was good. Very proud of you, Merc. No way. Very proud. I think that's probably your highest damage. True. Big miss. Harem. Become as dust. Gotta retain these guys. Alright. Will they ever learn? Despicable. Very good. Advance. Moving up. Go down! Run them through! Okay. 
Come on, Merc. I grant you death. There we go. Akunda, two kills in one turn again. Wow. Repent. Okay. Where have A Rangers been my whole life? My talents. Unworthy. Yeah. All right. Oh. Big swing, big miss. Let's hear you cry. Another miss. Cannot hide from me. All right. Kundeo's got three kills out of like seven spiders. Your life ebbs low. A clever boy. The dog here did like 20 some damage. Wretched things. All right. Got some spider legs here. All right. So let's check out this area over here. Oh, so we can go down the stairs. Oh, we could have climbed up the stairs? I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's probably for the best, though. All right. Long ago, a sturdy watchtower rose above the forest, ready to signal an enemy's approach, day or night. Now the ancient moss-covered stones are crumbling. Birds rather than and birds rather than warriors inhabited the place. The ground floor has been looted. Still seems to be some furniture left of what remained on the upper floor. A rotted table, an uneven chair, small, robust chest. Sadly, stairs had collapsed. Harem walked around the tower slowly. I like places like this. Peaceful, quiet here. One is bound to consider, which is awaits to us. <laughs> awaits us all sooner or later, yes. Lost himself in the admiration of the ruins. Provided a tube with the necessary ingredients. We wouldn't need to climb anywhere. I'd make it to the upper level myself. All right. Let's try climbing up. Apparently... Mr. Mr. New Guy here is the most athletic. Nice job, Akundao. Deftly climbed the stones. Even as they crumbled under his feet, the next floor he found what must have been the living room centuries ago. Even remnants of a decomposed floor mat. Chest was heavy, but it didn't take him much effort to push it to the lab, to the ledge and drop it down. Fell to the stone with a loud thud. Huge cloud of dust rising around it. The wood darkened after years of exposure to sun and rain. Alright, metal siding had grown a layer of rust. Alright, of course it was still locked. Let's go with perception. Complete. Nice. Completed. That's what I meant to say. I don't know what that word was. Let's just let's just acknowledge that that was weird. Okay. Let's let's move on. All right. Uh, it turned out to be a surprising success. Found the key in a small niche that had been covered in the rubble. Despite its age, the dwarven lock was still operational. We turned the key. Inside, we found simple possessions of a dwarven warrior. Must have been once the station of the tower. Battle gear consisted of chainmail, helmet, shield, and an axe. A pair of torn traveling boots and a metal tankard, a pipe small of tobacco, which petrified over the years, and lastly, a peculiar thing, a red metal cog. That's the last cog that we needed. All right. Let's take a look. Did we actually get all that stuff? Um, I don't think that we did. It's not showing anything in here. But we did get the cog, I'm sure. White. Gold. Oh, we have to actually loot it. Okay. So we got the cog. A great axe. Nice. So blackened apron. And we'll take the breastplate. Breastplate plus two. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Eight armor class. It's probably good for Amiri. Alright. Um, okay. I think that's okay. He doesn't do any spells. Armor check penalty. Um, let's keep him in the light armor. I don't think he's ever been really in danger. Obviously no armor for Merc. And there we go. A regular heavy shield. Okay, so we've got all the cogs. Onwards. So that should mean that we're able to open this up. Three cogs. You're not sure how to fit them in the mechanism. Maybe the arcane markings inside are a clue. What's the problem? This one goes here. That one goes there. Can't you see? Here are the cogs. Rumbling noises. 
Pam opens, revealing the treasure stored within. Wait, is the treasure down here? What a surprise. Okay, we just had to move. Alright. Full plate. A belt. And onion soup. Belt of physical perfection. Full plate plus one. And onion soup. Alright. First things first. Onion soup. Copy the recipe. Soot blackened apron. Alright. Interesting. What is this? Pl Holy cow. Plus two enhancement bonuses to strength, dexterity, and constitution. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. All right. Plus two dodge bonus, plus one luck. Now, what does this do? Okay. So this amulet applies dexterity modifier and places strength modifier on damage rolls. Okay, so this doesn't give us any more. It gives us more dex, which is what we need. All right, so this is st strength. So what if we give that to... All right, and does she have finesse, weapon focus? I think she gets a special from her class where Inquisitor, um, let's see here. Inquisitor proficiencies. Um, I thought she got, maybe not. Okay, so she gets the strength belt then. Jathal, get you a strength belt. Get you some extra damage on your uh, scythe attacks, I guess. Man, wow. Guys, that was so good. All right, let's give that a quick save. That is definitely worth it. Okay, so question score to settle uh, we should check them out troll trouble find the troll layers um, I thought we already did find out more about the trolls uh, searching for ruins of Dorn, Dorn fortress didn't we already do this will that be complete if we uh... alright we already checked that out what are these significant characters and objects? Okay. All right. Let's go, people. I think we're done here. Good job. Good job, everybody. I think I would say that everybody here earned their keep. All right. Do we want to take any of this stuff. It's really not worth that much. Let's leave it. Wow. What? What a session, boys. This has already turned out to be a good session of recordings. I like it. I do batch recordings, in case you guys are wondering. So what that means is, basically I carve out like a Saturday or Sunday afternoon or something. And then I just record three or four episodes at a time. It makes it easier. You know, you can just kind of focus on one one part of the video creation process and uh it allows me to spend some quality time with you guys even if you're not here to spend it with me <laughs> all right it seems that we got plenty of stuff to do here in the kingdom um so i say that we head back to oh my we have to go all the way back that way uh-uh no we're going up we're gonna cross the river here all right looks like we've got some trolls on the road I ain't scared of no trolls. I'm scared of a lot of trolls, but not a single troll. I can handle a single troll. All right. Looks like we got a branded troll here. Potentially some more elsewhere. Grotus, hide me from their Order, sight. Order. Let's finish them quick. Oh, we got bandits versus trolls. All right. I grant you dead. No strike wasted. Critical kit hit 45? Are you serious? Dude. Okay. So same thing as last time. We're just going to kind of hang back, relax. Primitives. Let them engage with one another first. And then we'll clean up afterwards. 
Okay, Harem will just kind of step up slowly. Just in case. Can you get any further? Ah, oh, so close. Okay, never mind. Alright, Amiri. Okay. Alright. The Bandit Alchemist scares me the most. Uh, maybe I should be scared of the Bandit Necromancer. Cannot but... hide from me. Nowhere to run. Wow. Huge damage, dude. Okay. So we're going to start sending Merc and maybe a Miri this way to handle these two. Will they ever learn? Good job, dog. Again, just kind of slowly creeping up here. Let's do a little acid on Mr. Branded Troll here. Make sure that he uh, can go down if we actually kill him. I have a feeling these bandits are going to last too long. Um, okay. Miri, charge in. Good damage. Good kill. Okay, four trolls against these three. All right. So now it's time for us to start focusing on the trolls. Well, maybe not. These guys are crushing it. I aim true. Okay. Merc. Time to go fists. All right, Merc. Come and engage the alchemist. Juba lost. Let's just poison everybody, shall we? Good dog. All right, Harem, move in and engage. Good. Jethal, move in. Acid on the troll. Amiri. Bring it. Again, let's take out the alchemist. Good. Ooh. Harem, no! Don't get hurt. Alright. We gotta move Akundayo up so you can start focusing on these trolls. You're dead. Because they're a little bit bigger of a concern at the moment. Merc. Switch back to the crossbow. Run them through! Use of my talents. Okay. Dog. Good damage. Dog, you are such a good tank with that knockdown ability. That's amazing. All right. As dust. Good harem. Despicable. All right, she's down. Let's back Jath all away. Good damage. Cannot hide from me. Nowhere to run. All right. Mark, fist out. Let's hear you cry. You'll engage next turn. Let's get the acid on both of them. All right. He's down. Acid on this one. Knocked down again. Man, dog, when you hit that, when you hit that, that is so good. Learn how to use it first. Good. And that's the level up, boys. And you know what that means? That means we can finally get Merc to use his new pendant. Good stuff. All right, let's grab... Scroll blindness. All right, time for a quick save. Good stuff. All right, 
So that means Amulet of Agile Fist goes on. The Nymph's Gift. Plus two dodge against ranged attacks. I might give that to you. Since you're more likely to get hit by ranged attacks. Alright. Here we go, boys. Agile Fist. Here we come. Alright. Monk level 6. We get... Uh, a bonus feat. Okay. That's good. We get um, another key power. Excellent. I'm happy with that. All right. Four points. Um, let's go into perception. Now let's focus on those three. So, bonus fit. Ooh. Okay. Dragon ferocity. You attack the strength of the dragon, your tongue blows, striking fear into your enemies. Increase your strength bonus on unarmed strength damage rolls by an additional one half strength. All right. Um, well, first thing. Well, hold on. Oh shoot! I don't get the feet, and I don't get the feet until next level. Okay. All right. Trip. So, I don't meet. Dazzling display, disarm. I don't have kinetic warrior. All right, let's go with this. The key power first. So I've already got Scorching Ray. Um, bark skin. Uh, okay. Grant him tough skin. The effect grants plus two enhancement bonus amongst existing natural armor bonus. Increased by one for every... I want to know how long that lasts, though. Sudden speed and true strike. Yeah, let's do that. Um, it says I don't have these prerequisites, but then why is it telling me that I should take this? Dragon style. I don't have enough strength. Alright. Intimidating prowess. Um. This would make me tankier. Blind fight. Every time you miss because of concealment, you can reroll your miss chance. Percentile roll one time to see if you actually hit. An invisible attacker gets no advantages related. Um, you don't lose dex bonus to armor class. Dazzling display. What does this do? While wielding the weapon in which you have weapon focus, you can perform a bewildering show of prowess to make a full round action, make a persuasion intimidation check to demoralize all foes within 30 feet who see your display. Interesting. So this would probably cause them to have worse rolls. Disarm. Don't have intelligence 3, don't have combat expertise or kinetic warrior. Um... Man, it's like I don't have any of the stuff necessary. All right, so let's go for crane style then. Crane style allows me to be a little bit more defensive and tankier. This is about survive. I just got a survivability uh, upgrade, I guess. So the other, the bad thing though is that means that uh, this pendant doesn't work for me right now because I don't have weapon finesse. But we'll deal with... That's okay. We're alright. We're alright. Alright. Amiri. Barbarian class. We're getting ourselves another rage power. And plus... Plus one bonus. Reflex save against dot... Traps. Against... Okay. Better against traps, I guess. Um, let's keep going with nature. Perception. Amiri and I are basically like... Alright, reflexive dodge. We're basically the same person. Um, guarded stance can apply her dodge bonus to armor class as a bonus reflex. Saving throws. Eh. Swift foot. 10 foot enhancement bonus to your base speed. Wow. Um, beast totem. Gains two claw attacks. These attacks are considered primary attacks. Made Barbarian's full base attack bonus. 1d6 of slashing damage. Plus this Barbarian Strength modifier. Totem Rage Powers are granted related to a theme. Barbarian Sex Beast Totem Rage Power cannot gain a Dragon Totem Rage Power later on. Alright, I like Swift Foot. Let's get a little bit more speed on Amiri. That'll be helpful for taking out distance enemies. Alright, this is our first Alchemist upgrade. We get ourselves a new Discovery. Um, okay, so we get a new Discovery and that's about it seems. Alright, so discovery 
Ooh, okay. So we got Acid Bomb and Precise Bombs. Those are both good. So, Preserve Organs? What the heck is this? Reducing chance of a mortal wound. When a critical hit or a sneak attack is scored on the Alchemist, 25% chance the attack is negated and instead rolled normally. Okay, Infusion. Discovery allows Alchemist to use his extracts not only on himself, but other people as well. All Alchemist extracts will behave exactly like spells of the same names when considering targets in range. Okay. Feral Mutagent. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Okay, Breath Weapon Bomb. Instead of drawing the components of creating, throwing a bomb, the Alchemist can draw the components and drink them, mix them within his body, and then expel them as a breath weapon as a standard action? Oh, Okay. There are so many cool things here, guys. Um, choking Bomb. Uh, choking Gas. Take a direct hit. Earn Splash Area must succeed a Fortitude save. Become nauseated. Uh, do one round d6 damage. Attempt another save each round. Cognit... Cognitite... Cognitagen? Um, oh, okay. In can improve their intelligence... Okay, so mutagen increases their, like, dex, constitution, and strength. This would go the other way. Dispelling bombs. He can choose to have it dispel its magic effects instead of deal damage. Creatures that take a direct hit from dispelling bomb are subject to targeting ma dispel magic spell. Oh. Or explosive bombs. Can now have a splash radius of 10 feet rather than... F Whoa! Yes! That's it right there. Unless there's something else. Okay, explosive bombs. Bigger AoE. I like that. Tanglefoot bombs. A creature that takes a direct hit from a Tanglefoot bomb must save against the bomb's DC or be entangled and glued to the floor. Oh. Oh. Creatures in the splash area fail their saves are entangled, not glued. Okay, spontaneous healing. Free action once per round. He can heal five points if he had the fast. He can heal five points per day. In this manner, for every two alchemist levels he possesses. All right, this is all real cool stuff, but I need to have bigger AOE. Like that is critical. All right, magic device, yes. Perception is good. Knowledge of the world, and let's go with trickery. Keep that up. Um, and let's go with knowledge arcana as well. Oh, he gets a spell too. Okay. Um, well. That's got to be Cure Moderate Wounds. I need some healing. Alright. Good stuff. Harem. Cleric upgrade. He gets basically nothing, apparently. Except for maybe more spells. Alright, Knowledge Arcana and Knowledge Religion. For you. Okay, nothing else from Harem. He just... Alright. That's kind of disappointing. And we get a Teamwork Feat. Um... Gains a bonus feat in addition to those gained from normal advancements. These bonus feats must be selected from those teamwork feats. Alright, so we get an extra teamwork feat. Um, I like trickery on you. Um, use magical devices. Nice. Let's do that. Um, okay, teamwork feat. Alright. Whenever you're adjacent to an ally who also has his feet, plus your competence on your combat maneuver, maneuver defense. All right. According to maneuvers. All right. Outflank. Um, flanking the same creature. Flanking bonus increases. Shake it off. Shield wall. Shield caster. All right. I kind of like... Coordinated defense. Adjacent to an ally who also has his feet plus two competence bonus on your defense. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, another spell. We can do cure moderate wounds, which would be helpful. Resist energy. Hmm. Limited protection against energy. Um, you know what? Let's go with hold person. I know that's a powerful one. So let's get that in our repertoire. All right. First upgrade as a ranger. 
getting ourselves a combat style feat. Okay. Athletics, we'll keep up that keep that going. Um stealth, yeah. Nature lore, perception, and I guess keeping up on the mobility. Alright. That's it? Oh, okay. He gets... Okay, got it. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I can only choose from one from... Alright. So improved... Alright, many shot. When making a full attack, your first attack fires two arrows. If the attack hits, both arrows hit. Apply precision. Okay. Damage bonus. Okay, so that... Alright, point blank master. We don't have prereqs for it. Um, choose one type of ranged weapon. You do not provoke attacks of opportunity when firing the select selected weapon while threatened. Alright. Or improve precise shot. Your range attacks ignore anything but total concealment and cover. Your range attacks ignore the missed chance granted to targets by anything less than total concealment. I like this many shot bonus. Let's do that. Good stuff. Alright. Characters, am I able to level up my other characters? No, but I can see dog here. Hi, dog. Hey, buddy. All right. I like him. Okay, good stuff. Man, this is a... All right. Anything else going on here? Doesn't look like it. All right, we leveled up. I'm happy. I'm not happy that we can't use this amulet yet, but otherwise I am very happy. Um, we are going back to the capital, so I will grab some of these heavier, more valuable things, I guess. I'll take that Masterwork Longsword, too. Hmm. Man. Man, this has been a good couple episodes. Whew. Alright. But we need to go home. Home to Therndale. Overgrown pool? Okay. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? Nope. Time to get home. Let's go home. Alright. Throne room first. Flank your enemies for max damage. Consider flank to two or more characters attacking it at the same time. Got it. So we want to team up and bash them down, if you will. Hmm. Require more strength fades. Who is this dude? Stefano Moscani. Reeks of vanity, his black hair is curled, styled and generously waxed. Hair atop his head to the points of his blunt stash. Cheeks and forehead are powdered white, looking at a pallid look. As the ruler of this barony, I'm flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Moscani of Patax at your service. Uh, what brings the Pataxian noble to my barony? Traveling back home to glorious Patax, after paying a visit to Restov, all in service of King Castruccio Irovetti. I thought it might be a day to visit the capital of Patax's bold new neighbor. I must say, I really should have spared myself the trouble. Hardly worth seeing. Um, let's see here. Five-year-old could tell that you're deliberately trying to offend me. Perhaps you just directly tell us what you came here for. You know, the initial goal of my visit was to take a measure of your so-called barony to see if it had anything to value. You know what I found? Nothing. You have absolutely nothing to offer. Military weak, culture weak, economy weak. You'd best pray to all the gods that my king Irvetti doesn't declare war on you. On the other hand, maybe you should pray he conquers you. This messy of barony could use a proper king. Um, let's go with... Perhaps there's a touch of truth, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. If anything changes here, it'll be the number of dung flies. Now will only grow. Shan't consider this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't fight back. All the best. All right. Yep. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Any other kind nobles to... Jenna. Peasant woman. Face soaked in tears. Your grace woes me. I met my darkest hour. You're my last hope. Don't leave me. My name is Jenna Tannerson. Village is short. Away from here. It's been two days since my boy Tig ran away. I haven't seen him since. We've searched and searched. No use. Find him. No one else will. Do you have any ideas? This old hag in the Gnarl Marches, a swamp witch. I won't say her name out loud. Don't you even ask. Alright, she is the eye. She has the evil eye. She eats people. Turns into a black raven, soars in the sky. Um, do people frequently disappear? Um, wild beasts in the forest, monsters, some troblins, bandits, whatever. Even adults have a hard time surviving. I'll try to find him. Alright. Yep. Sure. At some point in time, I'll give it a shot. 
but maybe not right now. Um, all right, let's take a look at the kingdom affairs. See what there is to uh, make decisions on. All right, build points and income. Their main resource required to, for settlement upgrades, construction projects, etc. All right, barony treasury's income is 30 BP sent by Jamandi Aldori from Pavoy. Apart from that, your territories will have their own individual individual income, which consists of their basic income plus other BP sources. Income depends on your barony stats. Each rank adds one BP per point to the weekly income, but the total rank contributes to a basic income cannot exceed the profitability of your economy. Barony's economy rank equals three. It adds three BP a weekly income. Population equals five, but it can only add three because I've got my economy is weak. Okay. Other BP sources are traded agreements are added to the basic Half the berry's income, except for the initial 30 BP, is sent to Bravoy. You'll be able to claim independence from Bravoy to retain full BP income, but lose the initial 30 later during the game. Good to know. All right. High Priest Ceremony was a success. The Enchanted Wind enhanced the prayers of the citizens and raised them up to the sky, plus eight divine. Cool. Nice job. All right. Events. Visitor waits. Plus one relations. And visitor waits. Plus one loyalty. Apparently, those were plus ones, even though research the nature of the Temple trade agreement, economy, training, curses, other regions, advisors. I still can't advi put anyone else as an advisor. Um, huh. Okay. So let's go here to Troublemakers is almost done. Troll sightings, we still have a while to go on. So research into the nature of the bald hilltop curses. We could very easily do this. 60 days to solve. Again, 32 BP a week. So this is like three weeks worth of research. Let's do it. Rebuild the temple. Plus two divine as well. Alright, he's the only one that can do that. Nature of the Undead Curse. Man, Harem is the only one that can do anything around here. Jubilos could create a new trade agreement. Alright. That looks like everything for now. I think. All right, let's check out Lost Child. So, Unwanted Legacy. Didn't I, oh, maybe it's, okay, so maybe those ruins aren't what we're looking for. Let's check and see if there's anything in here. Nothing, okay. Um. Okay, well. Keston, Valerie, the guard, Amiri. All right, let's talk to this storyteller. My way. Any relics worthy? Ah, 2,000 gold for Torek pendants. 600 gold for, all right. Here's something impressive. These items went along to a Dwarven Smith. All right, find more of the Smith. Whatchamacallit. Alright. So we got 17,000 gold. We're gonna take a rest. Ah, yes, nice. We got crane style now. Alright. So you only take minus two penalty on attack rolls for fighting defensively. Instead of minus four. While using this style and fighting defensively, you gain plus one dodge bonus to your armor class. Let's keep these two together. Let's get rid of that. Um, so we got our defensive stuff over, over here. All right, let's go take a nap. Good stuff. Okay. All right, let's head out to the town here. I won't be. 
do some town stuff here in the main square. Give that a shot. See if there's anything new around here. Also, we got some stuff to sell at the merchants. I still don't have the ability to uh, expand my council. I wonder if I need to talk to somebody about that. Maybe I should talk to what's his name? Lanner? What's the blonde haired dude that I took as my emissary? <laughs> Lesker? Leb Lebeder? Leb Lemur. That's his name. Lemur. <laughs> I don't, I can't remember. I really cannot remember. Um, anyways. Maybe we should talk to him about expanding the court. Or maybe I should just wait eternally for this loading page to get done. Maybe? There we are. Finally. Alright. So we got people all parked all around. Presano, Hasuf. Octavian Ragangar. I just... Here I am. Have I... Um... Are you sure you want to see the ruins? Okay. I thought I did take you to the ruins. You follow. Apparently not. Alright, Zarcy, show me your wares. Bunch of scrolls. All sorts of scrolls. Alright, well, let's get rid of stuff that I'm never going to use. Um, no thanks, no thanks. Troll Reaper. Oh, okay. That could be useful. Two-bladed sword, no thank you. Hand axe plus one. That's okay. We'll keep... Two to eleven, three to ten. Get rid of that. We'll keep these guys. Armor. Let's get rid of the full plate. Full plate plus one. Full plate plus one. We'll keep the he we'll keep the good stuff. Okay. Let's get rid of... Uh, we'll keep all that for now. And... Keep all that for now. Hold on. Do I need to... Use the bag of holding? Or is it just... I don't know. Okay. Got four grand. Let's poke in here real quick. Okay. All right. Anyways. I just... I don't understand. Like, why... Like, there's nothing else for me to do around here. But it's telling me to do more stuff. Oh, I got more companions to level up, too. Okay, tell you what, guys. I'm going to do the level ups off screen, and we'll catch you next time here on AP Games. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Be sure to hit like to help me grow this channel. It tells YouTube that they should spread my videos to more people. It's the best thing you can do to help me uh, grow my channel, other than like telling your friends or something like that. So, thanks again, and we'll see you again soon here on AP Games. Long life to you, friend.